Dragon Age Vanguard is a successful failure of a game. Before you rush to call me names and assume the reason I say this, let me explain. But first I have to tell you guys that I'm sick, so excuse my voice. And now you might say, Timon, the game is mostly positive on Steam reviews and it was sitting even on top of the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 sale-wise. And I would say, yes, you are right. 100% right. But the measurement of success for a single player game and a multiplayer game are totally different. For example, let's have a look at For Honor, a Ubisoft game which came out six years ago. We all know Ubisoft and how Ubisoft as a company operates. Do you really think if For Honor wasn't making money for Ubisoft, Ubisoft would green light the seasonal contents year after year? Of course not. But as you see here, current players for the game is not even that high as a multiplayer game. Might even have something like this on Ubisoft client, but it's not more than this, I'm sure. But it's making money for Ubisoft because it is an ongoing project. New contents rolls in, people buy skins, bundles, in-game currency and battle passes and so on. But for a single player game, it doesn't work that way. Single player games needs to catch the people's eyes and attention on the release date immediately. You play the game either you enjoy it or not. It's a fixed experience and by that I mean it is in the way that there is no outside element to change the experience like 180 degree for you. After a while, you know how to deal with the certain enemies, you learn their attack patterns and so on. Elder Ring did it amazingly by adding odd and unpredictable attack animations of bosses which could catch you off guard, right? That alone could be one of the reasons people stayed in the game. That learning curve kept people engaged. And now Dragon Age Vilgard. Let's have a look at the numbers. The game development started in the beginning of 2015 guys, almost a decade ago, and they spent almost more than 250 million dollars on it. Now for this game to be called successful, it should sell 6 million copies if I'm not mistaken, and I didn't even calculate the marketing cost. Dragon Age Wellguard didn't even hit the 100k players at its first two days of launch. It is sitting at only 70k and the current player numbers went only down and it's sitting at 38k players as I'm making this video right now. It is not even in the top 20 games on Steam. It went down to 25th place. In my opinion, a single player game which we can all call successful should have hit 200k players. Now by this, I don't mean every single story driven game that comes out needs to hit like 100k or 200k players. But I mean for this franchise, Dragon Age, I mean Dragon Age Inquisition was the game of the year in 2014 and the game belongs to one of the biggest gaming company out there, EA. I'm sure they put a lot of money for the advertisement as well. And as I said, the game has been in development for nearly a decade. So the fans, Dragon Age fans and in general, the people were waiting for this game. They were hyped for this game. So for the game to perform like this number wise, it's just embarrassing and disappointing honestly. I mean look at Starfield. It was a disappointing game to so many players including me. And even Starfield hit 330k players. I'm going to give you even a crazier example. Who remembers Mad Max the video game? It came out nine years ago. Guys, I talked to many many people over the years and so many of them didn't even know this game existed due to the bad marketing at the time. The game was lost in the history and even that game hit 33k players which is only almost the half of Dragon Age Vanguard all time peak players. It's bad, it's really bad guys. Or Metal Gear Phantom Pain, it came out 9 years ago and it hit 91k players. And this was just the number side of the whole situation. Now let's talk about Dragon Age Vanguard as a game and its gameplay mechanics and I promise I keep it short. Number one, the game looks good, but it's not optimized at all. Even on beastly PCs, guys, it has input lags, so much stuttering, really bad. Number two, the combat looks good and responsive when it works, but it's mindless. Number three, puzzles are just laughable and non-existent. A bird, a monkey would solve them. Zero challenge. We have to keep going. Let's get through here. Those two statues are the spare key. Line up the symbols. What did you mean by it's back? Something's stalking great wardens. 
Number four, the writing is god awful, and it seems it's by design like that. It looks like it wants to disconnect the players from the main story with some stuff that, to be honest, gamers, and I mean real gamers, don't even care about. And yes, I mean those moments of political ideas are being forced down the throat of players. I thought the game is RPG, which means role-playing game. So let me be what I want to be, and don't tell me what to think or what to say. So I'm non-binary. Fuck starts a conversation like that. I just sat down. Yeah, I don't know, man. It seems they sabotage themselves for some reason. As I said, the game must sell almost more or less 6 million copies and it's not including marketing costs. And hey, it might turn around and explode like a bomb and become the most played and the most successful game ever. Who knows? I personally don't think so. But what do you think, guys? What do you think about the game and the whole situation around it? Do let me know about your experience with Dragon Age Wellguard in the comment section. I would love to have a conversation with you all. Like the video if you enjoyed the video and dislike it if you didn't, it's alright. Subscribe for more gaming content, watch this video right here and never forget that I love you. Keep gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Timon out.